Okay, today I'd like to talk to you uh, in detail about what the difference is between bioidentical hormones and non-bioidentical hormones or synthetic. So first of all, in my opinion, the non-bioidentical hormones such as Premarin, Provera, Activella, um, the hormones that are in birth control pills, in my opinion, Although those have been labeled as a class of drugs called hormones, um, in my opinion, those really aren't hormones. Those are hormone imposters because they're not bioidentical. And what bioidentical means is the molecule is exactly the same as our own chemical structure of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. These types of drugs, um, that are not bioidentical, like progestins or ethanol estradiol, are kind of sort of like our own hormones. The thing is though, is our body is really smart and our body and mother nature knows the difference when you put something that's kind of sort of like it into our body. So it may act like our own hormones do in certain aspects of our body, but it can do very different things in other aspects of our body. Let's specifically talk about progesterone or progestin. This is actually one of my pet peeves. You can see I'm actually getting a little like worked up over this because I see doctors on discussion boards, Facebook groups, or even published in the medical literature use those terms of progesterone, bioidentical, and progestins or progestogens interchangeably. And they are not. They are completely different compounds and the molecule has changed just a little bit. An analogy I like to give is it would be like if you bake a cake and it called for a cup of sugar and you used a cup of sweet and low. It absolutely wouldn't turn out the same, even though they're kind of sort of like each other. So we know over and over again that synthetic progestins can increase the risk of breast cancer, heart attack, stroke, have an adverse effect on our lipid panel. But yet, even today, I still see so many patients come to our practice who are on synthetic progestins. And now in this day and age, I just don't see a reason why when we have access to bioidentical hormones. So when your doctor is talking to you about hormones or you read an article in a, a magazine or on the internet, a lot of people just lump both of these, bioidentical and synthetic, under this big umbrella of hormones. And until you dig deep and look in the article or dig deep of exactly what you're talking about, a lot of times people are just saying that these hormone substitutes that people call hormones are doing what our natural bioidentical hormones do. So don't be fooled by that and make sure that you're always going to a practitioner, hopefully us, that has a lot of experience and is an expert in hormone therapy.